Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Glad to see you. This is Cash Bear Mama. I hope you're doing okay. Don't look down. We need positive vibes. You need more energy coming in, positive energy all the time. Make sure everything is settled in your heart and your soul. Don't take in all that stuff because nothing's going to change if you don't change. You got to change. You got to figure out what you have to do. I want you to remember that May 31st is my live. We'll be doing another one. We had a lot of fun at the other one. It'll be at 7 p.m. on May 31st. And I like to do uh, giveaways like monthly. I think I really enjoy that and, and I can do the live. So we'll be doing it monthly. Yes, I know when you get to a certain point, like you got an extra 100 subscribers and all that. But, you know, other people need more reinforcement and I gain subscribers doing that. So that's okay. Come on in. That's the way we're going to do it. You know, congratulate me when I get to a certain point. Yes, I like to look at that, but we will be doing that monthly, um, doing that type of thing. This month's giveaway in May, in May, not April, we already did that. Frugality is Life's Budget Planner and her Savings Challenge book. I will be giving away to one person will get the budget book and another person will get the Savings Challenge book. All right, so during that live, you have to be subscribed to her and my channel during that time. So it's already, rules have already started, so make sure you do that. Yes, in June, we will be having another giveaway. If you are one of the people that want to showcase something that you have and want to be involved in that giveaway, please give me names so that I have someone to do that with monthly. All right, and it may be the same person. They may want to do it again, so that's fine. Go ahead. Um, what else do I have to talk about? Um, watch hours. Make sure you watch people's channels. You know, YouTube pay is not is not once you look at it. <laughs> if you're starting out, it's not reliable. It does not come, you know, every month sometimes unless you get up there. And the watch hours help. You know, the more subscribers, of course, help, but the watch hours need to go up. And, you know, they go up for a while when you're starting, you know, and trying to get to that point of being monetized. But they fall. They will fall because people aren't continually looking at your channel, especially if you are a new person being monetized usually. Now, I'm talk not talking about the big wigs, but things happen. And, um, you know... Some of us have written in about the views missing or you see somebody on your um, channel, you know, they're talking to you and it was disappearing. So YouTube is trying to fix that and get that together. So, you know, but just watch for people. Make sure you look at their watch hours. If you need watch hours, write your name at the bottom in the comments uh, so people can see you while they're here. And I try to make sure I do shout outs in my description. And then sometimes I post shout outs on the other side. If you have somebody there that you have not subscribed to, please be nice and maybe you can subscribe. And remember, if you're subscribing, you have to look at the video more than just you looked at it one second and hit the subscribe button because it will disappear and you won't be subscribed to them anymore. Okay, so you need a few minutes to just sit there and look at the video. Um, I have to, I, we do watch hours. I had to disable the resume button, you know. Are you still watching, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and we were still watching, you know, the person we were looking at. I think I was looking at Frugality is Life. And I'm like, I'm trying to look at her videos again, which is fine. And I'm working and I look over there and my, you know, TV has stopped. And I'm like, resume, do you want to resume? So I got that disabled because that was just annoying. It, they do it all the time. It's on my other stuff, and, and the kids were getting annoyed, and so we got that disabled. Stop, stop, stop it. You know, <laughs> even when I'm asleep, I turn on music or something from somebody's channel or whatever is going on, and I wake up, and, you know, everything stopped. You know, 
annoying, annoying, annoying. But today, I want to tell you how delayed spending can help you. And I know one thing, new subscribers, um, you know, when we're budgeting, you need those binders probably, especially if you had a hard time like I did with my finances. I need to know where the money was in the binder, okay? I need to know where was it being allocated to because I didn't allocate my money. I took the cash out and then, you know, I paid for it, whatever it was. If it was a gas binder, you know, the envelope in the binder, I paid for it. This is the grocery. You need that. Later on, as you get going, you may be able to do keep your money in the bank. I wasn't able to do that at the beginning because if it was in the bank, I was swiping, swiping, swiping. And, and so I wound up with a extreme amount of credit card debt. And because it was natural, just swipe, swipe wherever I was at. And then you swipe things on the card that you shouldn't swipe. So it was much better to put it in the binder, pay the cash for it at the time. And then I finally had to figure out, look, you got to go back to that credit card because it was annoying when you're not raised that way with the cash all the time. And plus it was annoying because most things are digital and it was easier to pay it online instead of standing in the grocery store, getting money orders or whatever, and then writing everything out and checks and all this stuff and or whatever you wanted to do. And it was annoying. And I said, you got to go back. Okay, it's just getting ridiculous. You know, you got to put the stamp on it. You got to take it to the mailbox. I said, I can't do this. You got to learn. Okay, it's like being an alcoholic and the alcohol is there. You got to learn to not drink it. Okay, cigarettes are there and you stop smoking. I got to learn not to borrow a cigarette from my neighbor next door. I know I can go get one, but you know, once you start, Okay, I have to learn that credit card that you're not going to go up there and lose your mind. Okay, and that's one reason why we got prop money because it reminds us that money's in the bank. And I'm going to tell you, once you get that money in the bank and you see that number go up, that's going to be your satisfaction. Because most likely, if you were like me, you didn't see any money in the bank. I didn't see any money in the bank. I was like, why do I have a savings account? There was nothing in it. Everything was in the checking account and everything was gone. Every month, we were living paycheck to paycheck, even though we had a bit a higher income. But we were living paycheck to paycheck and we should not have been living paycheck to paycheck. And then what hit me was I got in the hospital, my husband passed away, and we're down to my income. And if I had been budgeting and doing what I was supposed to be doing, we wouldn't have been slapped with all of those problems. But I wasn't. I was still doing the same thing that we were going through and having and able to go and buy this and buy that and, and buy stuff I just see because I wanted to get it at the last minute. But you can't keep doing that. It, so there's, a, there's a barrier. You're going to run into a wall with a lot of stone, and you can't get through it. You cannot move that boulder. And I couldn't move the boulder anymore. And so I had to stop. I said, I'm not going through this. You know, I filed for bankruptcy. I said, I'm not going back to bankruptcy. There's another way to get out of this without them taking your car cards from you and doing all this and standing up in the courtroom and being more embarrassed than you are. And I said, yeah, I can file it again. I'm not doing it. Once was enough. You know, seeing other people there, sometimes seeing some friends there. We saw friends there the first time we did it. That t first time we went, me and my husband, that was it. I said, I'm not going for a second time. They're waving, well, things happen, don't they? And I'm like, really? And she was on the board with me. That's what was so funny. She was on a board with me at the university, and both of us could not. <laughs> you know, you just can't manage your finances. And I don't want you 
to feel like that's the end, okay? It's not the end because I felt embarrassment. Don't feel embarrassed. Do something about it. And I did something about it. Yeah, I felt bad. I felt bad coming on here. I didn't want anybody to know at all. I didn't even want to talk about it. You didn't need to see me, okay? I don't want to be seen. I really don't want to talk. I really don't want to talk about it. But I came on here for me. This is not a channel about she just came on here to get money. It wasn't that. I came on here because I had to be accountable, and there was nobody that I was talking to, my kids knew about it, that I was in this predicament that I had had enough. And sometimes you have to come to that conclusion in your mind. Even, even if you're budgeting a long time, you've had enough. And it's hard. Budgeting is hard when you start. And sometimes it's hard when you are an expert at it. Things happen. Life happens. Life would be very boring if everything went your way all the time. Okay. You go play a lottery. I hit the lottery again. I hit the lottery. What if you hit the lottery all the time? You would get bored. You'd say you won't get bored. You'd get bored. What if you could get everything you want all the time? You would get bored. You'd be like, well, I'm going to get it anyway, so why keep doing this? Life would have no meaning, no purpose at all. And that's not what God wanted us to have. You got to struggle a little bit to get where you're going. And sometimes he throws some boulders out there just to see, are you going to get around this? Are you going to keep on begging me to get you out? I'll help you in a minute. Let me see what you're going to do. And he comes at his own time. You don't tell him what to do. A lot of people like to tell people what to do. Sorry, it's not working. Not going to work at all. He, he bundles up and gets his little coffee and stuff, and he sits there and looks at you and, and probably calling the angels, hey, come sit down and watch this. Telling me to come now. I'll be there. <laughs> I will be there. Then. But it's just hard, and it's going to be hard. If it's not hard, you're not going to see the reward of you being free from whatever debts that you are going through. I was looking at debt to none because she was going through a struggle. She had money in her savings to pay off all of her debt. And I had told her before, go for it. She was talking about it. But see, when you get a lot of money in your accounts, it's like, I see it. I don't want it to go anywhere. What if there's an emergency and blah, blah, blah. But we have to understand that God has us protected. And that it's going to come back in. Now you know how to save. Now you won't have all those obstacles. And you the money that's coming in, now is money not going out to other pay people and things and whatever out there. You It's really now really yours. It's not sitting there stuck. Yes, it's growing while it's in savings. But you got debt out here. And we got to get rid of the debt. We have to save. Like I tell you, this is the year of saving. We got to take care of what we got to take care of. And I want you to watch how much money you were saving, you got from somebody, gifts, gift cards, finding money, extra job, whatever you get to bring in, keep a record of it every month. Whatever game you're playing, add up that game every month, okay? Keep on adding. Whatever you're doing. See, I've been adding this game up every month. I know what's going on. So that at the end of the year, when you add up all that, you're going to see how much money has come in that maybe you actually spent out that shouldn't have been spent out. But we need to take the first step. How much money is coming into your life? Some of you that are crying about there's not enough money coming in. There really was enough money coming in. And yes, you may have to pay pay something. Like I said, delayed spending. You got to realize every everything that you have in your accounts 
or in your binders is delayed, you're going to spend it somewhere. If you're not going to spend it, your kids are going to spend it. If it's in a trust fund or it's in a savings account for them, somebody they're going to get it one day. Your insurance policies delay spending. Okay, those life insurance policies. Delayed spending. Even your if you have a mortgage and you have insurance, it's delayed spending. If something happens to your house, you go in, it's delayed, it's taken care of. Yes, you may. I got a deductible. Yeah, but you don't have to pay all that big, big money. Okay, you may have a deductible. It's all right. But you don't have to pay thousands upon thousands upon thousands to get paid. With That is fantastic. It was delayed. They held it for you. Yes, we do know they're rising. Okay, we weren't in that. They did it. But it's delayed spending. Everything is in its place, delayed spending. If it's in your binders, it's delayed until you figure out where it's going to go. Now, the problem we have which budgeting badly sets up which with these binders is that we got to learn that the money that we have in our binders, okay, we've got it earmarked. Like I have this money here. It's earmarked to my house and my car. Those are the two things that I want paid off. And yes, I'm going to go get another house, but I want to pay cash for that house. I don't want to go through 30, 40, 50 years or whatever terms they decide to come up with. If I want a car, I do like I did with my son's car, bought him a new one, 80, 80, 80 you know, what? not $80, but paid it ahead of time, paid it all off, just cash. And we are not dealing with those payments. And of course, they're going to say, well, you can save your money, uh, interest rate, think, I'm not saving anything. I would save if you were at 0% interest. Then then I might think about it. And then I may go, I don't feel like paying this every month. I've had a zero interest car, rate car. It was fine. Everything was going toward that car. It was not going to everybody else and the mama. Paying the executives and they out having a good time. And I'm sitting here going, mm, not working. But you got to realize that delayed money in there, you can do what you want to do. See, we get in a, a pinch with this budgeting and these binders because we go, that's supposed to go for my new furniture. All of a sudden, something comes up and you don't want it out. No, I, I, I don't want it. I'm not paying that. You can't take it out of my furniture binder. But all money doesn't know what you're doing. It's like the universe. It's, it's a piece of paper. It's a mind thing. Okay? You got to get off that mind thing. You I told you, mindful mindset, the abundance mindset. You got to get on the abundance mindset. That's when you're not on the abundance mindset. That's what that tells you right there. I'm not on the abundance mindset. I, I am not spending that money. I am just, that's it. Abundance mindset would go, that's money, that's a piece of paper. I got a chance to pay off that loan. They slashed it to a, a, a half. I can take that furniture money and go pay it. And save myself half, $1,500. Maybe it's going into collections. Look, look, we'll offer you half right now. They usually do that if you sit there and wait on them. Sometimes they do it right then. If you pay it now, we'll we'll slash it in half. But see, some of you got the money, but it's like, I'm not paying you that money because it's supposed to go over here, and I'll just pay you monthly, whatever crazy big amount they come up with off the big sum because you didn't want to do the half, but you had it. And you could have paid it. And save yourself an extra $1,500 or $3,000, okay? Maybe it was $6,000. They offered you 3000 
And always don't go with the first one. Beat them down, but, you know, that's another story altogether. But you have the money. It's just delayed, and it's okay. You got to tell yourself if it's okay. It's a piece of paper. It's a mindset. It's money. You got it. If you got it, pay it. And debt to none, she paid it on the last video. She paid it. Okay, technically she's free. She's paid it. And that money's going to grow again. She's going to now be more determined to put money back into that savings. See, we get on this kick. What well, if we have an emergency? See, that's one thing about emergency fund. I'm not happy with the emergency fund. I call mine the abundant reserves. Okay, but <laughs> it's like emergency and, and what happens? What if something happens? Okay, there's a lot can happen. We know this. This is life. I told you, life is not boring. But that's delayed spending. If you got it, pay it. That's what we need to be learning. Pay it. Because you know what? You are approved by God. You are approved before you came out your mother's womb. Before you were ever born. He saw you and he approved you for your little delayed spending loan. That's a loan from yourself. Okay, you already have the money. You can loan you loan money to yourself. I'm going to pay that and then I'm going to put it back. I'm going to, you know, make yourself a binder. Paying me back for my loan that to me. If you got to do that. You got to remember that you're approved by the almighty God. And that's an awesome thing, you know. You're approved. He put that you he made you save that money. You're created in his image. You're the apple of his eye. You don't know that? God didn't just put you there for no reason. You didn't choose God. He chose you before you were born. You're his precious creation. You're already approved for your own loan. You got your money. Just like debt to none. She had that money. I think it was $12,000. Go look at her video. And she went and paid it. She approved herself for her own money. It's a verse in the Bible that says that. It says, before you were ever formed in your mother's womb, I saw you and approved you. That's Jeremiah 1, 5. That verse doesn't say that God approves you as long as you don't have any faults or as long as you don't make any mistakes. No, God approves you no matter what. No matter how weak you may feel, no matter how bad you think, may think of yourself, no matter how depressed you are, no matter how many times you fail and fall through life, he approved you, and he approved that loan. He wouldn't have had you save it if you didn't be approved. He figured out a way you save that money because something's coming up. He can see in the future. He approved you in the womb. You weren't even born. He approved you. He saw you in the future. He's got your back. No matter how many times you fall, no matter how many times your head doesn't feel like it can be held up high. Don't allow the enemy to bring this strife and this painfulness inside of you and deceive you and think you think you're not good enough. You're approved. So you go get that money if you need it. Don't be out there having a spending spree. It's delayed spending. Okay? Delayed spending. That's the best way you can keep control of it. And then pay yourself back. Make yourself an envelope. We got the self-care envelope, but maybe we need a loan envelope. My loan to me. Take care of yourself. Because I had a delayed spending moment. Let me tell you about it this morning. Okay? Remember that I had paid the electric and the gas bill had come out, and I paid them on April the 19th. It came out early. I went on and paid all my bills for April. This morning, I get an email. Your gas bill is due. Both of them, your electric bill is due. Two different companies. And so I go over there expecting zero. No, the gas company, company put $13.03. Talking about it was due May the 15th. The electric company had put 
talking about it was due whenever, I can't remember, I think May 18th. And I'm sitting there going, didn't I pay this month's bill? So, you know the bear on the phone. Okay. And I call and, and I said, number one, I want to ask, why did the gas bill go down to $69? You know, the budget amount was, for one time it was 80, then it went to 81. And I didn't call about it. I was like, it's $1. I said, it was strange. You know, strange to me. I never, I really don't deal with budgets too much, but I got on the budget. And um, so I finally called because I'm like, what's this $13 for? And she goes, well, um, they don't, you know, the settle up month is in September. And I go, yeah, that's when you pay whatever you didn't pay during the year, during the settle up month which is in September 2024. It is April 2024. And she said, well, they don't want you to be in trouble. I said, over $13? Over $13. Okay. And she says, well, that's just, I said, D I said, never mind. <laughs> okay. Got off the phone. Delayed spending. Okay. Still thinking. Delayed spending. Keep that in your mind. I go call the electric company. There's a little higher always. You know, we have more of an all-electric house, okay? The only thing gas in here are the fireplaces. And, you know, the hot water heater, which I'm thinking of changing to that other one, the eco, whatever it is, on the wall. And um, I'm sitting there going... Now, that was a little higher. It was 70. And I said, well, why is it 73 blah, 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 or something that said. And she says, well, you know, it, during your settle-up month, they don't want you to be upset because you got to pay up all this money, so they move up and down. I said, that's not a budget. A budget would stay at the same amount. I said, the only, the only problem with that is there's peop there are people that cannot afford that movement like that, okay? So you're deciding for them, what if it was $200 and you put that on the budget and then you and then they have the nerve to tell you that's your the, the new budget amount, right? And I said, it looked like a punishment because I said, I'm paying the electric company $100 a month Okay, and then you come up with this 70. I said, it looked like because I paid it on April the 19th instead of waiting on May the 1st, that you was you went up on the budget, which they did. They went up to 170 a month. And then her excuse, it wasn't her, it's the company. I'm not blaming her because I told her that. I'm not blaming you, um, is that you don't want the 230 something that I owe on the deferred to come up in September and have a hardship. Okay, number one company, who asked you? <laughs> and a bu that's not a budget, okay? That's not a budget because if somebody's having a hard time and they are sitting there going, okay, my budget is $100 a month, that's all they got. So that means they got to go find your extra 70 that you threw up there when they've already paid it for the month. And now you to move the budget up for your gain. It's not their gain. You're not on a budget. That's not a budget plan. Hate to remind you. But remember I told you, nobody's worried about you. They come up with all kinds of excuses. Listen to them on TV sometimes. Just sit there and listen. Get you a cup of coffee, some soda, some tea, and really listen to these excuses that people come up with and, and go back through it. Just rewind it. Sometimes you only have to rewind. Like, what did they say? And it's not just... Companies, it's just normal people. You're sitting there looking up. Did you really? Must you? What is wrong with you? There's just a certain part of our society and the world, okay? They say stuff, and you're just supposed to go along with it. You don't have to go along with this. We're not going along with this. I'm not going along with this at all. Because, see, I will sabotage you back. 
And that's why my kids call me Cashmere Mama. They came up with this name because they know I'm not going to sit there and take it. You're going to hear all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm writing a letter. I'm contacting the PUCO or whatever public utilities. Like, why is this happening? Why, why? Because, see, I'm thinking about other people. It's not me. It's other people. There's people out there that are having trouble. I'm not just thinking about me. I never think about me. Our family doesn't roll like that. The only time I'm not thinking about something is you had to do something to me. And no, I'm not worried about you. Okay? I'm not worried about what you're thinking. I'm just done because you bring bad, bad vibes. I can't deal with you. I've had some uh, people on here, YouTubers, it's bad vibe coming. And you don't let up. You know, I give you time and it's like... This is not working. It's coming out negative. We don't need to be subscribed to each other. Maybe I need to go. Maybe you'll change. I'll peek back every once in a while. But this is the, 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 the delayed spending moment for me. You know what I did? I went into my Christmas binder because I have the money to pay off that deferred payment and both of them, the gas payment, they won't be deferred. Matter of fact, they're gonna have a credit when I get done. And the gas, the electric bill, they're gonna get paid off. Cause you know, the first one, I, I hit the button, I was getting ready to pay them. And the first thing it went, oh, warning, you're paying more than the monthly amount. Yeah, I'm getting ready. And you don't want me to do that because it's going to erupt into a credit. I mean, at the first time I pushed the button, it still wouldn't let me. It was sitting there going, nope, nope, you just owe that, that 70 some dollars. I think it was 73 or something. And, and it, was, it, was, it was like, you're crazy. No, 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 no. So I cut it off, came back, looked at it. And then that's when the warning came when I put the amount in there. I put the amount again and it was going, warning, don't do this. Danger, danger. I said, what are we in? Lost in space? What is your problem? You don't like money all of a sudden? No. So, some, you know, this is where I tell you companies, somewhere they're gaining money when they stop you from doing something. Somewhere they're gaining money even though I'm on the budget plan, but there's some something's going on that I don't know anything about that you don't want this money. <laughs> okay, why would you stop me from paying? Are you getting interest off of something? Some, somebody's paying you something somewhere with this. Are you going to get mad? You don't need to be on the budget plan, blah, 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 which I don't care either. But like I'm telling you, I got delayed spending money. That money does not know it doesn't tell me, you're just going to the Christmas thing. It didn't talk to me this morning. Okay, God talks to me. I talk to God. You, you, blah, blah, blah. Most likely, God always tells me, just pay the bill. Pay the bill. I got more. I got more where that comes from. I'm watching you. Trust me. Not that little piece of paper and not men walking around thinking they got everything. Trust me, I'll get you where you want to go. Now, if you don't trust me, who knows? So, I got it in my binder. So, my Christmas money is wiped out. So, I have to start all over again. You know what? I don't care. Okay, that's the feeling you got to have. Because, see, I know God's got my back. God's got your back if you take that step. And, and I didn't say go in there and wipe stuff out for you. Make sure you check your budget. You make sure you're able to do it. Don't just do it. I'm going to see you. Cash Bear Mama said, I'm not your financial advisor. I don't know what you're all going through. You know, once you get off of the channel, it, that's just a little piece of your life that you're giving to people. That does not mean my life fits your life. I have a totally different life. Okay, I have a totally different life. I'm the one that walked out on their job in the middle of whatever crisis was going on and said, bye. 
Don't need to be here. You can't walk off your job some of you. There was, there's no way. I'm just giving you my life steps I took. You know, they call this the entertainment channel. I'm entertaining you with my life and my friends that already approved to be on here and my family. You check your budget. Don't go up there. But see, I, I don't need that Christmas money right now. Okay, or even if the Christmas wasn't there, I'd find another binder to go into, and I need my binders. People laugh and go on about your binders. Quit paying attention to people. I don't pay attention. You know, don't be laughing about my binder. Just go on over there and go find somebody else to talk about. I mean, mean laugh. You know, we have fun. I laugh about some of them. Some of them's crazy looking. But I'm talking about the mean folks. Oh, you got prop money. And oh, quit listening to people. If you got prop money, that means you got money in the bank. That means they must not have any money. You mostly people that laugh at you all the time like that, they don't have a pot to piss in. I've already learned that stuff through life. They don't have anything. Or they sitting in their mama's basement. Ain't got no job. Pretending life is okay. And it's not okay. Mom's out there working. And coming in, dad's out there working for you and you sitting in the basement trying to be a, a gamer or a video star. Need to be out there working. There's people that do that. And a lot of people are not in tune with that. You know, they'll go, if you, like I said, look at TV, look at these news stations. They say, people go, oh yeah, they're on the up and up. Oh yeah, they didn't do that. Oh yeah, the government is against us. You better wake up. Wake up right now because you're not doing yourself any good. People are laughing at you because you sound crazy. You got to wake up to your own reality that things are not the way it was going. It's just not going. You're, what you're looking at, you're assuming. You know, other countries look at us. I know they're looking at us crazy. You could tell. They're looking at us just like, what? what? They're, they're, it's just crazy. I would look at us crazy. I look at us sometimes and I go, this cannot be what's going on. And if things keep going that way, we're going to have other problems again. Then other countries have, some of them have joined into the chime, you know, blah, 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 you know, take care, whatever's going on in your space. I always tell my kids, take care of your space. You know, if I had to come in, yeah, even at school, when they were in school, I had to walk up in there. I had to do what I had to do. That was my job. Okay? My husband didn't put that job on me. I know knew about kids. I know how they do. I know about the bully in town. I've been bullied. And I took steps that we're not doing this anymore. And you don't let anybody bully you on your channel. You do what you're going to do. Well, I'm doing it this way. If somebody makes a bad comment, well, this is the way I have to do it for my family. I told you there's some bullies on here. They write paragraphs. They're going to tell you what to do. And you know what you do? Either ignore the comment or just push your little symbol over there and just keep going and quit reading. I really hate to suggest things to people because it's, very annoying to some people. And some people, you don't know them that well, and they get hurt. They've been hurt already with the money. Their their feelings get hurt. And I know their feelings get hurt. I know mine, you know, I was just dreading the first bad comment that came on there. Or somebody will say something, why you got so many binders? Why, you don't live with me. You don't know what's going on. I know what's going on. I needed a binder at the time. I needed a binder for the car. I needed a binder for the house. I need this. I need that. Okay. I need a binder for giving. I need it. Okay. I was learning. Yeah. Strunk them more back now. But at the time, as your mind is learning, you figure out, okay, I can get through. But I still got my binders because they represent different things. And they keep me on track like, look, you got to pay that. 
you know, you got to do that. I was looking at Quick Budget. She has a medical binder, a binder, a whole binder. And it is genius idea. Because we all have a lot of medical things happening. You know, kids, blah, 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 the insurance, this and that, medication, people we have to pay for mental health, whatever. But you got the deductibles in there you could put. You could put, uh, you know, what deductibles. You could put payments for doctors, all this other stuff in there, your prescription money, and start saving it. You know, even you could start saving for a hospital visit. You know, if you had to stay in a hospital and then when you get out, you got to pay your deductible, right? I said, what if I had that money? Remember when I was paying that hospital bill? I, had, I owed them over $4,000 on my deductible side. My insurance took care of 80000 And I wasn't even in there that long. I went in there on a Sunday and by Friday, by Thursday, I was saying... I was saying that on Wednesday, it's time to go. Not because of the money. I was getting bored in the hospital. You just sit there for hours, and you're like, why am I here? Okay, why am I here? But you got all those payments you got to make. You got the ambulance. You know, we have to pay an ambulance now over here and all this stuff. And if I hadn't, if I had it, I would have paid it, and I would have been paying monthly the little seventy some dollars every month for a couple of years, you know, before I finally wiped it out. So that's a genius idea. You know, some things are genius. We got a Christmas binder. Let's have a medical binder. I think that's a good idea. What do you think? Write it in the comments. Tell me about it, cause I'm I'm gonna make one. So there's an extra binder to all the trolls of happiness. I still love you. God's got you. But we today are going to play, and this is mine. I got this finished, but I'll ring the bell. I didn't ring the bell on this one, but I finished it not too long ago, last month. But I'm going to laminate it so I can write on it. And that came from Cash Bear Mama. Not Cash Bear Mama. <laughs> Hop in the Budget with Bunny. I'm looking at the name. Hop in the Budget with Bunny for a gift from Star Budgets. And I see a lot of people have them now, so it's cute. I watch and I say, oh, there's one there. There's one there. And also during my giveaway, start saving up your change or your dollars because we will be doing savings challenge night that night. And um, it will be a question and answer about my life. Okay? Type thing. And we will be doing that. So save up if you decide that maybe I'm going to save a dollar for yes and $2 if I don't get it, no. And then when you get finished, that's your savings challenge is finished. And you can put it wherever you want to. If you want to do 50 cents, you want to do a penny. One penny is here. Two penny is not, you know, da da do that. Do what you can afford. Or get, some, get a piece of paper, put yes, no, you know, count them out and see how many you get. You know, do what you can afford. So right now, yes, it's a long video. But that's life, okay? Don't stay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm going to make it. We're going to play Save Up Poly. Yeah, yeah. Save Up Poly. All right. When I first saw that, I was wondering, how do you pronounce this? <laughs> All right, here we go. I only need one dice. Do I want to need green? Can you see that? Okay. No jail time for me. Okay, $25 today. Okay, game's over. No. <laughs> Just don't get back in the space. Two. $30. It's already starting the powerhouse. Now, this is from Savvy Budgets. Now, she has a lower income one, too. Um, or less... It doesn't even have to be lower income. Maybe you just don't want to go that high. $10. And you can also stop. Like if I decided that I want to stop my total right now, $65, I go, okay, that's it. And then you can start all over again. Or you can mark it with a little marker. Okay, two. One, two. We're on $50. No, that's $25. Back up, back up. 
Okay, there we go. All right, two dollars says save twenty dollars in variable expenses, which variable expenses is moving things that move all the time. You look at it is fifty dollars this month. Next month is thirty dollars. It goes up and down. Okay, fixed means it's fixed. It stays. They do that with mortgage too. You do not want a mortgage that goes up and down with the interest rates because I've had one of those. I had a mortgage that was $500 and the interest rate went up and it was $1,200 the next month, about a couple of months, and then it went back to $500. I was like, I don't think so. And refinanced the house. I said, I'm done. <laughs> Okay, one, roll two times and double the amount. One and two, uno, dos. Okay, double the amount, that would be $12. Okay, here we go. Six, one, two, three, four, five. We passed jail. Yes, we did. Woo, we passed jail. We're on 13, the lucky number 13. So that's $13. How many of you going unlucky? You know how unlucky people feel. There's there's houses they they don't try to put house numbers with thirteen like thirteen thirteen or thirteen. This is how much uh, you know. I'm kind of like if you believe in God, you ain't got nothing to worry about, right? Right. I told you there's little things in there that where your faith is off rocket, and you're wondering why things happen because. There's just a little faith not going, but we're in jail. Okay, we're going to jail. We have to pay five dollars. Don't want to go, but here we go. Whoop! And forty-five dollars. And here we go. But see, I'm saving. Okay, this money is going back in the Christmas thing. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There's twenty dollars. Four, one, two, three, four, our luxury tax. Let me turn this around. Is that better? Very good. I always get the luxury tax. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, a pay an extra $10 to the water company. Now, it's so funny, the water company didn't do me that way for paying early. Mm-hmm. I said 20, so I need 18. I saw that too. All right. And we pass and go. Okay. Pass, go, save $5. And five, one, two, three, four, five. We landed right in free parking. So we're going to stop today. Yes, it's 40, over 40 minutes. You know, it's okay. It's okay. I'll be all right. Everything's not a one-way street. Sometimes it's two and three ways to get where you got to go. So take care. Enjoy yourself. Happy whatever day it is for you. Because, you know, some countries are ahead of us. Some are behind. I think it was one behind us or something. I read that. But we saved $285 today, okay, on our way to putting that back in the Christmas binder. Okay, I need, let's see. $50, I'll find that somewhere else, okay? We'll be playing another game. I'm going to enjoy myself. You better enjoy yourself, even at work, which is I'm doing that right now. Enjoy yourself. Life is not always cherries and peaches and whatever your cliches they come up with in life to tell you, okay? Life is what you make it. You can do your own joy. Do your own joy. Enjoy yourself. Go get that ice cream cone if it's warm. If you want to eat in the cold, go right ahead. I'm not fun to that type of thing. But <laughs> I'm already cold. I don't want cold stuff. Get you a coffee. You know, take some time for you. Take some time for your family always. You know, don't let them feel neglected. Your spouse, your partner, boyfriend, girlfriend thing, whatever. Take time for your mom and dad if they're here. If they're not, still take time for them. Send some flowers to go to the cemetery if you're out of town. You know, sometimes you can call these cemeteries and order flowers for them to put out. Do what you got to do to make yourself happy. Enjoy yourself. Smile. 
Yeah, all right. Bye-bye.